city of San Francisco is now asking what's next after the announcement that Macy's in Union Square will be closing down in the next year or two. KTV's Christian Captain live tonight in the city. And Christian, I mean, as for the future of the building, I guess it all kind of just depends on who buys it. Yeah, hey, Mike, it's hard to imagine Union Square without Macy's, but that's exactly what people are doing. They're trying to reimagine what this space is and how it could better serve the city in the future. Macy's on San Francisco's Union Square has stood on this site for close to 80 years. And now that Macy's has said it will be shuttering the store, the city is rethinking what this space could be. Some say it should be housing or a foodie destination. I would like to see SF chefs come in and take over a floor and have really elegant dining. And Miller and Lux is doing it. You know, they're bringing $100 plates back to San Francisco for lunch. Robert Burns is launching a tech company designed to help students transition to life in college dorms. He says the building could be a tech incubator. There's so many startups in the city. There's so many entrepreneurs. Maybe uh, some kind of working space, you know, cheap, affordable working space for startups. Jasper Rubin is a professor of urban studies and planning at San Francisco State University. He says we should rethink this location's history as an anchor and think of it more as a piece of a puzzle. That means making sure it's a good fit for the city and works financially, providing job opportunities, whatever it turns out to be. There might be a range of uses that would help make the area generally more dynamic and generally more attractive and bring people. That could mean rethinking space that had been dedicated to retail. One thing I would think about is subdividing the space and inviting some of those activities and users that have fled the city in the, in, you know, the last decades, like nonprofit organizations, NGOs, artists, arts organizations, and trying to track them into that space. President of the Board of Supervisors, Aaron Peskin, who oversees the Union Square area, says potential buyers have already begun reaching out to him and that whoever buys the site will have a lot of say over what it ultimately becomes. He says he's working on ways to get rid of red tape to allow this space to adapt. We'll see who ultimately buys that building. I think uh, residential is a possibility, mixed use is a possibility, uh, but the days of multi-story, four-level department stores are becoming fewer and fewer and further between. Now, whatever this space will eventually become, there is time to consider the options. Macy has said it has no plans to shut this site down this year. Any closure would come uh, within a year, possibly even two, after the building is sold. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kaft and KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Christian, thank you.